Sushi Roll, so so Sushi here, and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to be playing Cry of Fear today. It has really good reviews. I looked a little bit into it. Uh, it's a survival horror game, which should make it interesting. Um, it's really all I know. It's got a good storyline from what I was told, which is pretty much everything when you're going to make a game with a storyline. Because if the storyline doesn't fit, it just makes the game seem kind of nonsensical. Like, I like things that go in a good pattern. Um, I tried to play this game three other times. The first time, my OBS didn't work because, lo and behold, Windows did an update. Um, and as I said in the vlog, every time Windows does an update, something happens with OBS or something that's involved with, you know, my recording. So... I had to get that figured out and then I started to play the game and it froze on me um, not that far into it so I didn't get that far into it and then I started to play the game yet again and <laughs> I had to pause the game play for a little bit and the recording and lo and behold when I came back I was playing talking along like you know I was talking to somebody like I'm doing to you guys now and realized at the end of it that I never hit record. So that was my day yesterday with my gameplay. So it's a little bit late, but it's here. Um, it goes in chapters, so I'm assuming that I'll have a couple of different uh, videos for us to be able to play with it. Um, so it's not just going to be this one video and we're done. I do have a couple of shorter games I do believe that I downloaded um, to do, you know, in between this and uh the Blair Witch Project game uh which I cannot wait to play uh, I'm gonna get it tonight get it downloaded and get it all figured out so I can do it next week for you guys so anyways this is Cry of Fear here we go I heard this is like ridiculously scary at some points which is awesome for you guys I might poop my pants who knows? Introductions. I've always felt alone. My whole life. For as long as I can remember. I don't know if I like it. Or if I'm just used to it. A little bit of both? But I do know this. Being lonely does things to you. Feeling shit. Bitter and angry all the time just eats away at you. Feeling like crap and bitter and angry all the time, it does eat away at you. I I I agree with that statement. Um so for the next probably minute and a half it's this little introductory introductory period. Um for the cat. It's not about the cat. Uh, it lets you know who made the game in the beginning, which I found kind of odd because usually they wait to do that stuff for the end of the game when you complete it. This was free, by the way. It's on Steam. I love horror games. This one really caught my interest, too, and for a free game, the music and the graphics and everything with it, not saying that free games are always are always garbage, but, you know, a lot of them can use a lot of work, um, of course, because a lot of them are in early development and things like that, or it's somebody trying out new things and trying to get feedback on it to make a bigger and better game. But for this being a free game, I really, really enjoy the music and the ambiance that it's given, and the graphics aren't terrible. We'll see how the storyline is, though. As I said, I'm always good for a good storyline, but like the Slenderman thing, it didn't connect completely, the whole thing. I didn't really know what was happening at the end. Really good game. The horror aspect of it was great, but Love Sam, I liked how that story worked out plus the horror aspect of it that one scared me a lot that was a good game there's me my name's simon i look sad 
Nothing new there. Oh, look at it. Look at how sad I am. Maybe I just needed to sneeze and it was one of those silent ones. Who knows? Oh no! Shit. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. What happened? What happened, man? It's Christine. I doubt that's actually the case. Ah! That's gonna be a hard one to come back from. They don't usually do well after getting pinned in between a car and a a wall. Oh. That looks like the guy that was laying on the ground. I just realized that. As I said, I've watched the intro a couple different times. I don't think he was really hurt. I don't have flashbacks. Oh no! Somebody's bashing somebody's head in. Wake up! I want to sing the system of this down song. I won't, because I don't need to get copyright claimed. Take the camera. If you insist. So... I, I didn't really look around this room the first time, but it doesn't really seem like there's a lot here. Um, the main part of... This, I do believe, is follow the X's. And they give you little things. Like doors. Oh, that's this one. Nothing. What's this one? Ah! I hate you. Okay, well... I hate you too. Alright, we just got this X. Door. Nothing. Door. Ah! It's a dead person. My heart, my heart is beating loud, and I can hear it. And for some reason, I think it's Dead by Daylight that has taught me that if your heart is beating, you should run. But I have to remind myself that that's not how the gameplay works for every game. I don't know why I jumped in the game, not in real life. All right. Oh. Why, game? Why? Ah! I'm hearing things around me now. Already, it's already started. That's not a mirror, that's a window. That's not how mirrors work. All right, that was a technical difficulty on my end. We're gonna, whew, my light fell over. All right, let's, let's, let's do it maybe this way. All right, that's, stupid candle. Sorry about that, you guys. Anyways, back to the game. All right, so where was I? Go to a dance. But, ah, 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 ah. Did I fall? I don't trust any of these X's. Like most of the X's in real life. Uh, I can't take this anymore. Please be a door, please be a door, please be a door. Ah, you're not a door. I just want a door, please. Oh, thank god. Alright, I'm gonna start running. Run, run. Oh, there's sounds. 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 Come on. Ah! <sighs> Jump scares one, line of zero!
Yeah, that that happened. I don't know, Simon. Where are you? Why did your body move like that? Get here. I don't know how you got here. Beep beep. Hmm. No phone credit as usual. I'd better get moving. It's getting dark. I don't know why he spoke everything else up until this point except that. And I took my camera away. So what was that? Just like a a teaser? Like, hey, this is what kind of crap you're gonna get into? Press tab to access your inventory. Oh look, I have a cell phone. Combine, equip, drop, dual wield. Let's dual wield. Yeah. Nothing in dual wield. Equipped. Where are you? Come home as soon as possible. It's getting dark. Mom. Dual wield. I would like a knife on me. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Do wield. Oh, there we go. I had to click on both of them. Uh, hi, I have a handy dandy flashlight. Pretty neato. What is that? Run, 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 run. I'm sprinting. Find a code for the padlock. Press B to view and current objective. I'm gonna close the padlock. <sighs> Alright. What oh, padlock? Is padlock? That is a padlock. Alright, so we have to find the code to that padlock. Somewhere. Somewhere. The shutter is closed and won't budge. That's probably a good thing, because every shutter that I've ever seen in a video game or in a movie, which is a horror video game or movie, you open that shutter, there's gonna be stuff behind it. Stuff you don't want to get into. Alright, nope, nope. Oh, look at it. It's like a snail thing. Ah, nope, 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 nope. Is it against my better- it is against my better judgment to go down here. But we're gonna do it anyway, maybe? It's dark. Oh, okay, it's not that dark. No, oh, phone can be used as a source of light. Oh, go figure. Press mouse 1 to activate your light. The mobile light does not require batteries. Your holster, your mobile light with a light on, a dim light will shine through your bag. Cool. Can I ride the spike? I don't need this right now. That is your opinion, I feel. Because I feel like I could totally use a bike right now. I feel like something's gonna be launching itself off the roof at me. Not a comfortable feeling. I like the town layout so far. It kind of like guides you, I guess. Would be the best way to put it. Hmm. Wide open space. Not really feeling it. Piece of paper. Unforgettable. Okay. Random word. Middle of nowhere. David SPC. Hmm. 
Oh, I hear monsters. Oh, somebody let me in. Oh, hey, look. A door. Hey, look, a bar, I think. What puts the snack thing behind the bar? Should it be out here where people can actually, like, use it and get snacks? Maybe. The interior is destroyed. It's not going to work. The interior of what? A computer. So apparently the game mechanics in this is... If you can use it, it's lit up. Enter a username. Is that the things that I just picked up? David... David... David SPC? Enter a password. It was unforgettable, I think. Ha! Uh, good password! You won't forget it! Yeah, I did it! <gasps> There's... The combination. I don't want to exit out of this. I heard that. I'm not liking it. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy highlighter and write this down. Jill is seven four five eight. So I'm gonna think that's a combination. I'm gonna try it. Can I click anything? I don't want to click out of this. I'm going to. Please don't be anything standing behind me. Okay, there's not. So far. I don't trust this now. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we're gonna go back to padlock. Alright, I wanna run. I, I just have this urge to run. Why? Because why not? When you're getting chased by things? Quite possibly? What do you do? You run. When you don't know what's coming, you run. Are you running in the right direction? You'll never know. Until you die. But death is inediv inevitable. <sighs> Coming around this corner now scares me. That's not what I wanted to do. So... My biggest fear issue with these games is it's like, yay, you figured it out. Now you can open up this stupid door with this stupid padlock. Cool. What the hell is behind it? Why is the padlock shut? Seven, four, five, eight. That better be it. It's not gonna be sad. Yay. I'm scared. Man. Here we go. Ooh. You can put up three items in your clicks quick spots. If you press one, you'll equip the weapon in your first quick slot. Well, right now I got this handy dandy knife. Uh, that door won't budge. Of course it won't. Alright. Oh, okay, we're outside. I don't know. Hmm. I was gonna say, I don't know why outside seems comforting, but after. Uh, after this. So this door opens. What the? what the? Look to the right. Uh, who are you and why do you have my number? Oh dear. There's something in here. Oh no. Why would I go towards the sound? 
Is that blood on the floor? Christ, it looks like it. What's going on? How the frick did I even get here? Look, now I have a weapon. That's better than an- uh, maybe not. Oh, that might be somebody else's weapon. Ah! So there's zombies? Zombies with weapons. Go ahead and try to call them police. Do, do, do. We're sorry, the call that you have tried to dial is not be connected or something. Damn it! No signal. Of course not. You're in the subway. Ready, go! Oh no, Mr. Bill. I will fight you. I'm not scared. Now the door won't open. Alright, that's fine. I'll go through that other door. This one. Oh, look! Wait, what is that? Wait, I don't want to go. What is this? I picked up a syringe. That's not generally safe to do nowadays. I mean, I don't think it was ever really safe to do. They're like, oh, look. Nasty city street. Let me get the syringe. Why would this be my first... <gasps> mm. Are you dead now? His face fell off. I like his Freddy Krueger sweater. It's very stylish. Ah! Ugh. I wonder if the syringe will give me, uh, health. Alright, that's not too bad. I can deal with that, I guess, for now. It is a tape recorder. I can record my thoughts and experiences here. Save games. Saving progress. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this one here for right now. Um, I'm going to start the next episode to see if the syringe helps me heal up or not. It would be interesting if that's what you find around to heal up with. I do not approve of just going around using random syringes to heal yourselves in everyday life. Let, let, let's just get that out of the way. However, um, the gameplay is cool. I have gotten scared a couple times, so we'll see how this goes. Anyways, you guys join me next time, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>